the Jews run the show in the world. Not because they want, because that's what God wants. And it's written in the Torah that the non-Jews admit that is the word of God. If they didn't admit, what's the proof? Thanks, Christians. But in the Torah it says that in every nation you will be, you will always be the highlight of the place. Even though we have very small community compared to America, 300 million Americans, 5 million Jews. It's no comparison. But the Jews are everywhere, politics. All the assistants of Trump, Jews. All the assistants of Sleepy Joe, Jews. Obama, Jews. Everyone around there, Reform Jews, Conservative Jews, Chabadnik, this, Convert. It's all somehow. Same thing was in Spain. Same thing was in many different countries. When the country hosts the Jews, and the Jews live in that country with freedom, God bless this place thanks to the Jews there. As soon as they torture them, or kill them, or throw them out of the country, the end of this empire shortly after comes. Let's go one by one. The Roman Empire, when they started with the Jews, that was their end. After the Jews, no more Roman Empire. The Greeks, same story. Babylonians disappeared. Persians, Achashverosh, disappeared. In Iran, modern days, the Iranian Shah was very good to the Jews. Iran was the fourth powerful country in the world in its time. After Russia, America, I think Germany, Iran, it's paradise. So wealthy, selling oil, controlling the market. Iran was an empire 30 years ago. They kicked all the, the Jews ran away when Khomeini came. They went back in time a thousand years. There's nobody else want to eat there. The end of Iran came. Germany, they killed the Jews. They used to be a massive empire. They stayed a small country now, nothing special. And Spain, same thing. The Jews were in power. They did the Spanish Inquisition. Spain and Portugal, nothing is left from them. Russia, there were many hundreds of thousands of Jews there. Russia was a very powerful empire. Everyone was checking from them. The Jews left Russia. The USSR collapsed. Now the Jews are going to run away from, uh, from America. Most of them assimilated, so they'll become goyim already, their children. So they have nothing to wear because they're not Jewish. But those who are still religious, they will all get up. Within a year or two or five, we'll all have to run away from here. Once we will leave this place, Hashem will bury America. That's what's going to happen. Not because I'm some kind of a prophet. I'm not giving you any prophets. Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechachadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. Double respect and salutations to the fellow Akiyam, the house of David, the hopefully elect. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, brought a thumb to you, Akiyam, as well as the sincere Agwa that are listening and learning. So, when you tell a lie, you have to cover up with more lies, more propaganda. And if the earth is given into your hands, you will put out what? Witchcraft amongst the people to believe your lies. You have to write books and books and more text within books to confirm your lies that you're telling. But the one main truth that still stands is the word and testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. So for you people out there that believe in these lies, believe in these devils, you need to withdraw from them, mainly talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, those of the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, to you other Gentiles, <laughs> you heathens, this is not for you. You have your time in the sun. You have had your time in the sun to reign. You had your little tenure, and now your lies are unraveling. The light has been shined on your darkness, and you can no more hide yourself. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. The scripture here is speaking of the Israelites first and foremost, what I just read. How are we rich? Through the scriptures and the knowledge and the understanding and the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You see? He know the works of the men that do 
do it. He know the tribulation. He know the poverty that we're in. However, we're still resiliently rich. It says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The main rallying cry for them to be turning things upside down is they are of the seed line of David, of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob. They do not want to reveal who they really are, who they truly are, which are the sons of Esau, Edom. These are who these little hat people are. And the plans and your your antics and your, your devices are not working anymore. You see, when you realize what this man was saying, the so-called rabbi, he was just speaking around people. When you know Iran wasn't no damn empire, Germany wasn't an empire, Spain, Portugal, all right? Russia is just not coming into being one of those superpowers, but they're not even there yet. Why? Because this harlot of a whore is in the way. And she's about to be taken, that she's about to be destroyed. And we know this, as he said, they're about to bury America. They want to put themselves in the seat of the Israelites, the main true ones that was tossed to and fro on slave ships, that was sold on auction blocks, that was lynched, castrated, hung, babies cut out of our bellies, stumped on, fed to alligators. They have not went through none of atrocities such as what we went through. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 3, starting at verse 7. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith the same are the children of Abraham. These people don't have any faith. They cast the law behind them. Psalms 50, if I'm not mistaken. Their main rallying cry is to come up against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Verse 8. And the scripture, foreseeing that the Most High would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, in thee shall all nations be blessed. And what is this speaking of? This is speaking of the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes scattered abroad. We're here too, we're everywhere. You see, we have the sand of the sea, but in his own words, they're small, 5 million Jews. They're small compared to America as a whole, Babylon the Great. Nevertheless, they're the face of everything. If not the face of everything, they're the face behind everything. Everything that you see, you have a so-called Jew behind it. So what is that saying? That means they're fucking lying, man. They're fucking lying through their fucking teeth, man. You see? And see, we're here to show you these things, man. It says, so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. That explains the 12 tribes. All right, through Abraham, then he had Isaac, Isaac had Jacob, Jacob had the 12 tribes. That is the line of the chosen, which Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has got to himself by the gift of, of Yahweh, his father. Let's further prove that, the book of Genesis. You see, and they like to go to the Torah, Torah, Torah. All right? But what they preach and what they teach, all fucking filthy lies. You know, these are the imposter gutter rats we're speaking of over there in Israel. All right? You got some of them over here. You know, a lot of them over here. And they claim that when they leave here, that's when America is going to be destroyed. Just like they left. <coughs> <coughs> just like they got a call, <coughs> so like you with it, <laughs> going to work doing 9-11 20 years ago saying don't go. Ain't nobody forgot about that shit, man. You, you niggas been lying ever since you came up out the womb, man. This is Genesis 22 and verse 15. It reads, And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, 
for because thou hast done this thing, what did he, what did he do? Let's keep on reading. And has not withheld thy son, thine only son. See, he was in a point, Abraham, of sacrificing his son, which was a commandment by Yahweh by Shem Yavashah. Once he was about to carry that act out, he was found what? Faithful. Woo! You see? Never doubt, you know, the power of the Lord. Let's continue. It says that in blessing, I will bless thee, and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. See, this is a future prophecy, man, which we had a, a, a glimpse of that with King Solomon, King David, King Solomon, right? But this is going to be a perpetual kingdom, an everlasting kingdom with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh all right? Yahweh Shai being the main you know, king, then you have King David and on down. You see? Let's read this again. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Let's get a, uh, boom, 22 and 15. Let's go to 16. <clears throat> yeah, 17. And let's read on the right-hand side. The CSB, it says, I will indeed bless you and make your offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky and the sand on the seashore. So Israel cannot be numbered. All right. We come looking like each and every nation. But you cannot have a census on Israel. Only the Lord knows. And within that, you have the elect. Let's continue on. It said your offspring will possess the city gates of their enemies, man. And we're going to get that word gates. Because again, this is what they're afraid of. This is what they're trying to, you know, <laughs> get back a birthright that was given unto Jacob by the greed of Esau. It says, let's get to the point. City, town, gate, palace, royal castle, temple, court, tabernacle, entrance. A little bit more door, gate, gate, or port. So we're going to possess what the heathen possess, what the enemies possess, what they have, what they lands are going to be our land. Matter of fact, they ain't going to have no lands. All right? Verse 18 is the, uh, is the point. Just want to get that. Sometimes you go to different translations and you get a better understanding, you know, to, to, to bring, it, bring it down a little bit to let them know, hey, what y'all speaking of, a, a, a fucking filthy lies. It says, verse 18, Genesis 22 and 18, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. And again, he, he ran through the empires that we was in captivity of. See, we was in captivity. We in captivity to this day. You understand? And this is the revised Roman Empire. We in retro Rome. He said they left Russia <laughs> now the USS, they wasn't a, a, a super power, all right, according to uh, kings ruling the earth. No, they had their little, little, little spot, all right. Now they're becoming, see, the Lord is about to turn and put hooks in the jaws of Russia, man. God, the land of Magog, you see? And see, they behind that shit too because they thinking that they're going to, have a, a, a house that continue forever. You see? Verse 18, And in thy seed all, shall all the nations be, all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. And the nations that's going to be blessed, which when we, we do get that second covenant, when it's be put into play, it's going to be Israelites. It's going to be so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see that? The scriptures ain't written, you know, for you to just put up on the mantle and leave it there and read the book of Psalms. See, it's here for our learning. Galatians chapter 2, verse 15. We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles. You see? We who are Jews by nature. There's a certain swag that you have. There's a certain talk that you have. Yahweh spoke in parables. All right. When you hear these hip hop songs, these 
these uh, these entertainment guys, you know, the way these actors and these entertainers uh, move, they move with salt. See, that's a nature that we have. You see? That's a swag that we have. That's a salt that we have. We are the salt of the earth. You know? These lame-ass individuals, you know, which the scriptures coins as the synagogues of Satan, they know not what they speak of. All right? But uh, but they do, you know, the higher-uppers, they do know prophecy. And this is why this whole thing, all right, about what has been taking place since the World War Ones and Twos, the skirmishes in between, Hey, they have been behind it, man. All the way back, dating to the Napoleon Wars. You know? Psalms 135 and 4. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. Who getting rolled down by horseback, by police cars, gunned down, hung, castrated, lynched. These things we have been through. All right? Not only that, we've been in the what? We've been in the, uh, you know, the captivity starting, you know, uh, way back with the Egyptians. You know, when we came out of that land with hella substance, right? See, they can't speak of these things, you know. Psalms 50 verse 19, it says, and <clears throat> bear with me. Thou givest thy mouth, it's like you. Psalms 50 and 19 Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. You see? This is these, this these Edomites, man. All right? Esau, Edom children. These are these folks, man. It says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. And what, who do you say we are? You little hat people. <laughs> see, they flipped everything upside down. They supposed to be the seed of Jacob, and we supposed to be the seed of Esau. They, it, it's even documented in their documents that Yahweh Shai is the son <laughs> of the serpent, man. The reincarnation. Believe me when I tell you, I got proof on that. These, these motherfuckers must be stopped. You see? <clears throat> Let's continue on. It says, verse 21, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And this is what's taking place on a major level, man. All right. You got men waking up to who we truly are, coming back to the fold, repenting, and turning to you. How about Shem Yahweh Hey, hey, seeking him 10 times more. Find that in the book of Baruch. All right? And now you have in men, which when we turn back, he give us the strength to set our ses, uh, face against Mount Seal. Right? And we're bringing out truth. We're bringing out scriptures. But they call it what? Misinformation, hate speech, this, that, and the other, man. <laughs> Hey, just look at the last video we posted, man. I posted through the Spirit. Psalm 31 and 18. Let thy lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. You know? And this is what they have been doing, and, and, and they're gonna, they will continue to do it until the Lord take them out of their place, man. You see? So with that, let's go to the book of... Second edges, six and twenty-seven, and it reads, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched." And how is deceit being quenched by these living waters, man? Because out of our bellies flow uh, 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 rivers of living waters, man. This is nothing you can stop. This is nothing you can uh, uh, put a dam to, man. You might try to put a dam, but water finds its way through the crevices and through the cracks, through the seams. Now this place is mildewed, man. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, scriptures say the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And what's being declared, man? 
who the real children children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is, man. On who the heathen and who the nation, uh, the other nations are. All right? And this being proven and, and, and said all over YouTube, man. You know, most of you Jakes are bugged out. Right? But nevertheless, you know, you know you're an Israelite. But but again, that's not gonna be enough. You see? You got to go above and beyond. For the power that laid down his life. For your life. Revelation 3. In and off of verse 9. Behold. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Which say they are Jews and are not. But do lie. Behold. I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. So that's a separation right there man. So if the Lord. How is shining these words. Telling you he loves thee, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Reminder, right? On the ones down, trying to oppress and still being so to this day. If he loved thee, he must hate something, you know. It's a balance. You know, a false balance is, uh, uh, is an abomination to the Lord. So it must be a hatred out there for some nation. You figure it out. With that, Lord willing, it was Elephant and Comfort. On to the next. Shalom.